here at the BWF Para Badminton World Championships in uh, Dortmund, in Germany. We've got uh, 240 athletes here uh, from 41 countries, so almost double the last championships we had in Guatemala in, uh, two years ago. So we're very happy about that. Para badminton would be a perfect Paralympic sport. It's really a fantastic sport, sport to watch. The spectators love it because it's, it's a, we call it sparring and it's a real challenge between uh, the two players on court. Um, our athletes uh, in the various classes really move around and, and are just like any other elite athlete in sport. Behind me we've got uh, one finals match on, at the finals day today. This is a short stature uh, athlete. We had 22 short uh, stature athletes at this competition and uh, you know if you look at their matches, wow, they really uh, run around the court, they dive for the shuttle. Uh, there's some been very close matches for short stature at this competition and uh, some of the teams have some very strong players in there. So it's a great spectacle. Para sport and para badminton in particular is quite a bit different in its atmosphere to say a super series in badminton or a Grand Prix in badminton. There's a real kind of camaraderie, there's a real kind of family spirit here and uh, you know these women and men go to these competitions and see each other two or three times a year uh, both in Europe and Asia and they've developed really great friendships over the years and um, so there is this kind of bond that I think para badminton players and para sport players have in their chosen sport. So it really is a great atmosphere, very supportive, always kind of, you know, helping each other, although when they're on court, they're just as competitive as any other elite athlete. One of our challenges, uh, I don't think that it's a challenge for most para sports, is that there's a disparity between the number of men playing para sport and men playing para badminton and women playing. Uh, in the next couple of years we'll have incentive programs for women in particular sport classes to try to build more women's participation in certain classes and subsidies for travel. I mean it's an expensive thing to come to tournaments but that's where athletes develop uh, in competition uh, their skills and uh, their tactics um, uh, and their physical side and the technical side of the game. So we've got this initiative where we're trying to incentivize women to come into uh, para badminton and to compete more in, in para badminton and uh, those programs will go on for the next few years. So I think one of the key things we and all of our stakeholders must do is communicate this message that badminton is a fantastic sport for everybody. It's a sport for all, it's a very inclusive sport and people with uh, an impairment or a disability can easily take up badminton. So we are trying to get into the 2020 Paralympic Games next year. We all uh, know whether we have uh, been successful or not in December, November, December 2014. But uh, we're hopeful. We've got a lot to offer, I think, the Paralympics, and we've got a great player base who really want to be involved in uh, Paralympic sport.